So, it was supposed to be an easy job. Frag the bandits to their lair, sneak inside, grab any loot and get out sharpish. It's unclear exactly when it all went wrong. Perhaps it was Craghart smashing the entrance <laughs> open loudly with his fist, or the brute ramming a bandit guard's face into a wall to stifle his attempts at alerting the others. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Smash them into a wall? <laughs> I Okay, for starters, I love the, uh, like the first sentences, like how to open up a tutorial. Like, this is, like... Um, perfect. Mm, this is perfect start. <coughs> Spli uh, spl uh, sp uh, split up from the crack heart after fighting through hordes of bandits. The brute finds his way into a disused uh, storeroom and a hunker's den, trying to get his bread back. Suddenly, suddenly, the door at the other end of the room swings open. Well, well, what do we have uh, have have here then? So we have to defeat that one guy. It looks like the brute is going to have to fight um, his way out of here. In Gloomhaven, the first thing you do each round is to pick two ability cards for the characters to use on their turn. Since the brute needs to get access. Uh, the room to deal with the bandit card. You'll need to select a card that that's le uh, that lets you move at least four hexes, and a card with an attack to try and take this card down. Uh, well, it makes sense. Like you move four because one, two, three, four. It's a, he's four squares away, and we can uh, provoking roar, uh, attack two, but also disarm, which means a bandit card can't attack. Um, you can look through your cards by mousing over them in the list to the left. Proking Roar and the Grab and Go are the only ones you currently have available, but should it get the job done nicely. Note that the first card you select will also set your initiative for the round. The lower the number the earlier in the round the character will act, so choose Proking Roar for the first to go early. But the thing is, you don't have to. Um, maybe. Okay, I had to click continue. But did you know? You can also click here on 87. If you would have clicked uh, the other way around, you can just uh, re switch by clicking the circle. So this is just like an initiative. And end the selection. And the bandit guard is going to move on the uh, initiative. Initiative 15. So when we have 10, 10 comes before 15. So, mm -hmm. now it, it is time to act. Each half of the card repre represents an action comp comprised of one or more abilities. You get to use two actions per turn, and uh, you can pick any of the four card halves on the left to use as your first action. But note that you must then use the op opposite side of uh, other card for your second action. So, it, see, it lights up uh, which two abilities you're gonna do. We can a uh, basic attack, we can basic move. So, continue. And grab and go. Bottom and end. So, here we go. Ah, so m many continue. So he's on the other side of the room. So let's move for it four tiles. See, we have only two uh, two health, so we're, we're in bad shape. Yeah. So now we have used this uh, ability card. So now we can't use the top uh, top card if we would uh, want to loot. So this, now this card is used. So now we have to use this side. Hey, what are you doing? Pickle of Marines! You're crazy! And good morning, Conspaws! <laughs> Why are you doing Pickle? Oh, Pickle. <laughs> Sir Knight of Skyrim. Instant Man 2000, Taste and Savor, Nick, Affiliate, Synchronic Tea, Cinderella, 
Siski, Med, Science 16, and Max the Catfish. Enjoy all those subs. H how you doing? How's life? Holy shit, you crazy. Gifting all these subs. And you have gifted 40 subs in the, in the channel. Holy moly, pickle, how's, this, how's the streams and everything? How you doing? Oh shit, why is there a naked man on my screen? There we go. And how is Modern Warfare? Guys, go and throw this wonderful man a follow. Ding, 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 ding. No! Don't! Do it. Hee <laughs> hee. Do it. Follow the crazy man. Follow him. It's a lo uh, like a ruler or something. Mm. So now he's dead. And Brute's turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and then here you can also see attack modifiers. Um, you know when you Dungeons and Dragons, uh, when you roll a dice? In a Gloomhaven you have like a attack modifier deck, so it, you, you draw cards. Like, now we have used one plus one card, so we have still a one plus two, one uh, crit, uh, crit and, a, and also a one that denies fully. Ah, oh, Cormac. Thank you for uh, checking out, my friend. I've been thinking about getting it. And if you get a crit fail or a crit success modify, we will uh, discard. Uh, we will uh, shuffle. And hey, chat, you're also all very sexy. So are you. Uh, Fallen order, Marines and Mara. How are you, by the way? We're checking out the updates there. It's throwing into Gloomhaven. Mm hmm. One last thing before moving on to the next round. This story will notice that the camera moves to focus on the action. You, you too can move the camera around using following control. Vast, Q, rotate camera left, right. Mm hmm. You can also rotate this camera by dragging your mouse with the middle of the mouse button held. Mm hmm. Okay, continue. So I talked we can do this so you guys get to know the basics no monster in the current room now it's good time to rest and get some energy back so when we long rest you see these uh, currents are grayed out we get them back when, when we rest is it Mandalorian uh, uh, Disney thingy can I can we have Disney plus in Finland pickle of Marines you better dream about me because now you throw the th 10 subs in the channel. You better think about us still when you're dreaming. <laughs> mm. I will recover. I'll order discarded cards before I continue your turn as normal so you can rec recover cards to use immediately in this very turn. Longrest takes up the whole turn and is used instead of selecting two ability cards, giving the character an initiative of 99. However, you not only get to choose which card to turn instead of it being a r at random, but the character will perform a heal to action or refresh all item cards. So, but it can be a risk if you do it when the enemies are uh, around. Time to choose a card. Any easy choice, grab and go may look weak, but the mobility in it offers should be important. For now, let's just burn Leaping Gleave. It's nice that you're uh, telling us which ones uh, we should uh, burn. What if it's all a hoax? Scooter read uh, R2D2 today. Whoa, really? 
I love the new Star Wars game, but waiting for the new hardware before streaming it. Again, my grandma uh, machine can't handle streaming game. Oh, it was rough on the your thingy. Mm, okay, should we grab and go? Hmm. When the door is open, all enemies in the next room are immediately added to the initiative track and will act this round. <gasps> oh no! Now, now, Cormac, I did actually read somewhere it's not available in all countries. Only Netherlands has Disney Plus in a. Uh, really? Only Netherlands? How are you? I saw there was a new update. May I just have to play myself today? Definitely, Mara. Definitely. Like, um, uh, they have a tutorial. Uh, I don't need the tutorial tutorial myself, but I just talked to you guys might uh, want to see the tutorial. And also, two new characters as well. So, I'm uh, quite good. And hi, Amphi. Like, Amphi, this is the game I, I told you you should get. <laughs> In this scenario, let's um, shoot a spear, dagger, and grab and go. <gasps> Don't tell me what to do! <laughs> okay. So, we m use the move four, we open up the door. Open door. Hey! There we go, see? Hmm. So in that I can uh, then hover over them and see what's going on. Move one, attack three. Mm, attack three, range five. So you know. Hmm. Mm hmm. Disadvantage. Uh, you know what the disadvantage is. Do we have anyone in chat that doesn't know? Hey, wash up! So, when we go into disadvantage, we go next to her. When she does a ranged attack, if you shoot a bow like in face like this, when the. Uh, yeah, that's no good. You should uh, aim from a distance. Hey, Flaming Fall! Hi, we're checking out uh, what is called uh, the tutorial because I have a few people that never played the game before, so. Uh, I thought, let's check it out from uh, like the beginning. And guys, Flaming Fall Studios is uh, like uh, the devs behind the game. So hi, devs, and we and help me break the game for them. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. So here you see the the disadvantage thingy is blinking because you see this is a ranged attack too, but we can't. Uh, Easily shoot this guy instead and not get a disadvantage. Uh, like, in the end, it means in disadvantage, you draw two attack modifiers and you just choose the worst one. If you would have advantage, you would um, get two buff cards. Now, not two buff cards, like uh, two good good things. Hey, did we crash? Huh. Oh, okay. Um, I think this shouldn't be happening, but it happened. Yeah, attack the archer. The critical hit two mod five would have been discarded. Now that we knew, mind mind you, but minimi uh, minimizing such eventuali uh, eventualities is a good way to play. Okay, it was supposed to happen. Oh shit. And hi, uh, banana. So yeah, I didn't break the game. I was just uh, hoping. Hmm. But that was kind of cool now. And we took one damage. I'm gonna lurk. I'm gonna go work on a new emote. Oh, what kind of uh, emote? I would try my best, uh, uh, bow. Uh, Vasha, um, try to get some sleep. 
So, let's see. They're going in the 31. You know, um, you can actually be really mean in this game. You see the move 3 and push. <laughs> and you see the trap. That's like the fun thing. Like you can uh, you can push people in into things. I catch Jungjin pointing finger at all of you. I think that <laughs> that's what that's like the good thing. Let's judge. Move closer to the door and give her a nudge onto the rusty old trap. Ah, nice. Confirm movement. Da, da, da. Mm, skip movement. Push into trap. And that's... <laughs> Looks like a Fusruda. I can definitely rate uh, one that you made. Uh, are you sending it on Discord? So, that's long rest. Mm -hmm. Provoking roar, really? There we go, and then we burn it. We end turn, and turn five, we're getting inside the last room, maybe. And the spear and dagger, and grab and go. Move for, what do we have inside? Hey, hi, Craig. Did you know, Craig Hart was my very first character I ever played, but he is getting a beating. Ah, uh, look at them. Aye, aye, aye. Move two, attack two. Yeah. Pff. No one uh, will really reach. But, hey, there's a chest. We're definitely going to the chest. Mm, in somewhat rough shape, more so than usual with him back in the party, we can swiftly dispatch these bandits without issue. Mm hmm. So, uh, definitely going to take that chest. Really? No. <laughs> I want to take the chest. Okay. So, we have to go uh, up here, though. Spirit Dagger is a ranged attack, but the brute is standing next to their target, and this one's attack is surely not the most intelligent move. Well, on each of half of the card, you can also find default actions. Yeah, default and default movement. Mm-hmm. So, we want, we, they want us to use the default um, attack. But you know what I would want to do? <laughs> I would stand in the corner and, uh, and shoot with Spear Dagger. Only a, a plus zero this time, but by choosing not t to range attack from an adjacent hex, you didn't incur disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Happy Lord! So, let's uh, finish this up. Let's see how we can best use Avalanche. Ooh. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Some Boots of Striding. This can grant him two extra hexes of range. I must say, I like what they have done. Like, uh, this tutorial is uh, quite good. And confirm. And let's do the avalanche. Mm. It's move ability followed by damage ability followed by earth elemental. You see, now we have some earth elements cre being created in the room. 
You know what I would love? I'd love to see. Like, when they create, like, fire and earth, it would, like, uh, change the entire room. And then when it wears off, it will just disappear. Like, you actually see the room on fire. Okay. If we were, if it, this, this, uh, the earth is still creating, so it's not here yet. But if we, we were, if it would be here, we could have uh, used the earth in the room to do plus one attack or one one plus damage. One dead. Nice. <laughs> so you see, received a damage too, and it wanted to scarlet and the red, it would die. But we can discard a card to survive. Mm, I will take the three damage. Okay, uh, I will. Uh, I will. I will check it, uh, Shizy. I will just uh, finish uh, this uh, dungeon, and then I will take a look. Uh, and now we short rest. And burn spear and dagger. Hmm. Let's redraw. <gasps> da, 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 da. So we go spear and dagger. Mm. Choosing those two. And we switch. Hmm. Attack three and range three. Ooh. Do I really want to do that? Hmm. No one attack two. Strengthen. Hey. Disgusting. And he's dead. And we can now take the chest. And the brute's turn. And look at that. We're getting a minor healing potion. And a war hammer. I like hammers. Hmm. Oh yeah, you didn't like this? Oh, you know, you know what what I think happened. It was supposed that we should uh, put the other card, explosive punch, but we did choose uh, crater as our initiative, and now the bandit doesn't have an attack to do because it's uh, it's probably programmed that we should have killed it. Haha. <laughs> Are you gonna die? No, I mean, it looks like you found a way to, to to do things we shouldn't be able to do. Mm. Uh, still here? And let's uh, let's uh, see if they're still here. But th this is kind of cool, though. Ah, well. So yeah, and now it would be supposed the bandit guard would have attacked us. Hmm. But yeah, I think we have to uh, just uh, quit the main menu. <laughs> 